And a very good evening. Welcome to our presentation for the 1983 Dally M Awards. Some big awards coming up right here. And of course for our superstar, there's a great trip with Cathay Pacific. And also the great viewers prize, which I'll be announcing uh, a little bit later on. Of course, the winner appearing tomorrow in the Daily Sun. Right now we'll say once again a very good evening to Michael Beavers. How are you, big fella? Very well indeed, Billy. And of course, this is the second major uh, award for the 1983 season in this grand final week. Of course, we had the Rothmans gold medal on Monday night. Yes, went off very well. And Have uh, you recovered? That's the first question to ask. Oh, yes, I didn't. I just uh, backed off a little bit the other night, Bill. But it was very uh, good to see young Trevor Patterson winning the award, first time down from the country, from Toowoomba, and uh, getting away with it. Capable young player. And a very young player, too. Probably one of the youngest winners of the uh, Rothmans gold medal. There he is. Uh, walking forward to receive his award from the Premier, of course, uh, Mr Javielke Peterson. He seemed uh, quite stunned about the whole thing. It was a total surprise to him. I don't think he uh, thought he had a chance with Gene Miles uh, swooping up behind him. All right, well, let's see how they uh, roll out tonight. Just might to tell you about the uh, voting system for the Dallium Awards for this year. Uh, there were six points to be allocated to three players. Now, these were judged, Mick, and I think a very good idea, by the players in uh, op opposing teams, so they could allocate them. So they had a pretty good look around, for oh, sure. Oh, yes, a very fair system, and, of course, uh, the opposition players wouldn't be giving it to anyone they didn't think really warranted the points. Very good idea, actually. So out of those six points, they could be allocated in various ways, three, two and one, four, one and one. So if a player has had a really top-class game, uh, he's got an advantage of three points over his next play, which is uh, a good way a big to... jump. Yeah. Yeah. And also way. they can either be 2-2-2, two, 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 so that's the way they worked out. One lot of votes were released each Tuesday in your Daily Sun. The other lot coming up in the Sunday Sun. The rest we've kept, and they've been opened earlier on today, so what we can come up for our winners. So let's have a look at nominations, of course, for our Dally M uh, super team. Now, we'll start from the positions, work our way through, and the highest point scorers in each particular position, Michael, will make up our super team. My word. We'll start with the full-back position, and, of course, a lot of good full-backs running around Brisbane this year. Of course, Colin Scott, who played for Australia, Len Standen from Western Suburbs, Booth and Payne, both players playing for Eastern Suburbs at times. Gary Belcher from South. Uh, Jamie Sandy, he blitzed onto the scene for Western Suburbs. And of course, let's don't forget the golden only Alan Mills from uh, Valleys. He moved across from North and. Uh, or he moved across rather from Valleys to North and played very well indeed. So. And he's talking about playing another game, another round next year, so he hasn't lost his enthusiasm at all. And the nail hasn't fell out of the wall for his boots. Fair all enough. right. Well, let's have a look at the nominations, uh, shall we now, for the fullback position in our Dally M Super Team. Firstly, there's Gary Belcher from Southern Suburbs. Had a good year this year, Mick. Yes, performed very well. Uh, last game in Lang Park, we saw him made a couple of mistakes and then recovered and played a brilliant game. Here's young Jamie Sandy, took over from uh, Tony Curry, of course, in the Western Suburbs lineup, did well. And the other nomination is Alan Mills, the Golden Holly, as we just mentioned before, uh, who's playing with Northern Suburbs this year and was one of the players that uh, kept them together. All right, Michael, you have the winner there for yes. our fullback position. I do, and the fullback position has gone to Jamie Sandy. He's he was, the winner. He was our top point scorer there, 19 year old Jamie Sandy, burst in the A grade team in spectacular style in the Labor Day State League match. That was when Wests played Ipswich. Because Lang Park was uh, wet on that occasion, washed out, the match transferred to Newman Oval. And uh, Sandy produced one of the most impressive debuts that we've seen in league in Brisbane for quite some time. Unanimously applauded as the man of the match, Sandy bobbed up everywhere as he spearheaded West to a big win. He scored a hat-trick of tries there. Here's how Peter Adams reported Sandy's debut. It was Sandy who scored West's first try, taking a pass from second row Steve Carter. It was obvious the Panthers were handling the wet conditions far better. West's handling was also superior and tactical kicking had more chance of success like this one from halfback Kevin Langer. Winger McNeil retrieved, sending an inside to Newlock Kieran Jackson to score. West's forwards were laying the groundwork in a fashion straight out of the manual. From Dave Moffat's break, Langer and Jackson carried on the movement before Sandy burst through to finish off. But the teenage fullback stamped his seal on the game with a spectacular individual try started in his own half. Shrugging off players with contempt, he charged through for his third try, and his great defence to that, and you'll get part of the reason for West's 42-0 win. So there he is, that's our fullback in Jamie Sandy. Just a reminder also, of course, our Dallium winner 
uh, will receive uh, a great trip for two to London, $1,000 spending money, and that comes courtesy of our very good friends at Cathay Pacific. They also supply the viewers' prize, which I'll tell you about a little bit later on. OK, Michael, let's have a look at the wing position right now. Very interesting, and lots of good wingers running around in Brisbane this year. Good crop of youngsters, uh, fellas like Brad Backer from Eastern Suburbs. Well, he's not much of a youngster, but he played very well. Dave Brown emerged from Redcliffe, played superbly, did Brown. Chalice, the young winger from Southern Suburbs, was injured early in the season. Then you got to the big powerhouse man from Valleys, Russell Klein, Steve Stacey, the blockbusting winger from Eastern Suburbs, and last but not least, the, uh, the, the flash from down at Wynnum Manley, Terry Butler, who performed very well during the season. All right, here are our nominations coming up for the wing positions. There's three of them right now, and the first one is Russell Klein from Fortitude Valley, the big improver, I thought, of the year, and certainly showed it in the finals with some powerhouse performances. Certainly, he went looking for the ball, Bill, in those finals and uh, caused the opposition no trouble at all. Here's Steve Stacey, the next of our uh, nominations, and finally, Terry Butler from Wynnum Manley. So they're the top three. All we need now from you, Michael, are two of them to come up to make our super team. Well... They are sitting here, and the two winners are Russell Klein from Valleys and Terry Butler from Wynnum Manley. So uh, congratulations to them as our um, wingers for the superstar team. Worthy cause. Worthy players, rather, Bill. Very Not an easy one to come up with, but no. that's the way the votes came out, and they're the t top two, and uh, they'd make up a pretty good uh, end of a backline, wouldn't True. they? True, and we must remind the viewers at home that these players were chosen by the opposition players, so nothing to do with us. All right, Michael, uh, bearing that in mind, let's have a look at those uh, two wingers in action right now. They're still keeping it alive, Valleys. Lewis on them to the front rower in Walker. They still keep it going, and that'll be Russell Klein going for the corner. He's in. Tackle on the line by Boitel, but he's in for the opening try of the match. Thing but Winneman turning on the bustle now, and quickly letting it go. Bullock getting it away to Franks over the top. The Butler was running a try. Butler for the corner. Thanks over there by Smith, but he's in. And Terry Butler going into the corner, quite a familiar side in Brisbane Rugby League this year. And did it very well indeed and on many occasions. All right, Farmer, we'll take a break and we'll be back with more from the Dally M. Well, we've already mentioned the prize for our Dally M Superstar winner, but the viewers' contest, the winner to be announced tomorrow in your Daily Sun, and that's the person who selected the Dally M Super Team as it stands from all the points coming in. Once again, Cathay Pacific have provided our prize here, and that's a trip to Hong Kong, staying at the Lee Gardens Hotel, and of course, flying the best way possible with Cathay Pacific. So that viewers' prize to be announced tomorrow in your Daily Sun. OK, Michael, centres. Plenty of names to drop here. Oh, plenty, and all good ones too, and names that immediately spring to mind is Brett Tingdale from East, very promising young setter, Brett French from Wynnum Manley, uh, Steve Cherry from Redcliffe, also Mal Meninga, let's not forget Mal Meninga and Gene Miles, the State of Origin uh, centres, and they performed beautifully this year, and Shane McElane, another name from Brothers that uh, jumps to mind. But uh, a lot of uh, centres, and uh, I tell you what, the players have done, a, uh, done the job here. Well, I've narrowed it down in the centres to three players, and here are those nominations for the centre positions in our Dally M Super Team. First up is, of course, Gene Miles from Winner Manley. Gene played very well indeed. He uh, suffered that fracture near the end of the season. Here's Shane McElane from Brothers. Very consistent player in Shane McElane. And the third uh, nomination for the centre position, of course, is Mal Meninga from Southern Suburbs. So that's how they line up. Our three nominations coming up there. Very difficult to start uh, sorting them all out here, Farmer. But the way the votes came up, uh, we'll get a couple of winners, and you have those My words word, right now. quite surprising. Gene Miles is one of the winners. Despite the fact he played a fair bit in second row. That's true. And uh, Shane McElane is the other centre to partner Gene Miles in the Dally M team. Not surprised with McElane, Mick. He's been a very, very consistent player for Brothers. Uh, the couple of games we've seen at Lane Park that they've played, he's been very prominent there. Yes, he, he played well. But I did, do believe he played superbly when he was playing on the outside grounds, and I think that's where he picked his points up, Bill. So there they are. There are two players to take out the centre position. Positions. Let's have a look at them in action right now. Here's Gene Miles, only goes back onto the field and back into the action. He's up over the halfway mark now. Pushes away one tackle. Now gets his pass away to Prince. And there's Wood Manley going in for the try. Then going to get across this time to the little halfback coming through and Robinson. He unloads it. This is McElhone. He's in. McElhone will run right around and score underneath the post. And the brethren are right back into the match now here at Lang Park. So congratulations to our two centre winners there, of course, in uh, Gene Miles and also Shane McElane. Next position to look at in our Dally M super team is, uh, as we work through, we come to 5-8. In the 5-8 position, a uh, couple of uh, 
fellows who jumped to mind are Wally Lewis, of course, who played and captained the State of Origin side and played well for Valleys all through the season. Uh, Dennis Cook from Northern Suburbs, who was superb at Lang Park every time we saw them. Wayne Lindenberg, even though he played halfback, he did play 5'8 and played there quite well. And also Brian Walsh from Winner Manly, another player to mention, Bill. He went very well every time he arrived at Lang Park. All right, well, we have uh, the two, um, two nominations coming up for the 5'8 position. And uh, the first of them uh, is one that picks himself, I think, of course, and that is uh, the Valley's 5'8 in Wally Lewis. Head down, barging for the line, something he likes to do quite a bit. Here's the other one, Dennis Cook, a very, very consistent player and has been one of the stars in that Northern Suburbs team this year. Most consistent. Well, they're the two nominations. Um, Farmer, as it's been decided on votes from uh, the players throughout the year, I don't think there's too much doubt about the no, winner. No, the winner is Wally Lewis, and deservedly so. Wally played superbly. I think the only uh, pity for Wally, of course, throughout the year was the fact that uh, Valleys just didn't go that one little bit better to get into the grand final. That's true, although they did perform well to win those games to get up near there, but uh, unfortunately they lost steam near the end of the round. All right, let's have a look at some of the Lewis magics from throughout this year. Here's Lawton, still going, Lewis outside, he's over underneath the boat. First try of the match after only four minutes of play. What will Wally Lewis do here? He's up there as dummy half. He'll go himself, put it in back again. Well, it's been a great year for him, Mick. He certainly showed that uh, whilst he missed a couple of the test matches on the Kangaroo Tour, he's back to his brilliant best. Oh, I think that Kangaroo Tour did Wally the world of good. He uh, sat back and watched, played in those, what, second-rate games over there and performed well and learnt a lot. And Wally's a, a learner. He he's sucked it all in and came back and performed beautifully and gave New South Wales no end of headaches this year. All right, well, there's just one um, position in the back line to be filled. We'll be back very shortly to help get that job out of, out of the way. Well, just as we had uh, quite a few players that come into mind for the 5'8 position, halfback's the same, a lot of pretty nippy little customers about. Oh, a lot of class in the halfback position around Brisbane, and uh, four or five jumped to mind immediately, Bill, and uh, a lot of good performers in that position, all right. So what about some of them? Tell us about well, some of them, right. Michael. Well, I think Brad Sully from Southern Suburbs performed very well, and another one, Wayne Lindenberg, who is in the 5'8 position, but now in the halfback position, always pl played well, did Wayne Lindenberg. Peter Dawes from Winner Manly gave the opposition plenty of curry. Ross Henrik, a uh, real class player is Ross. Mark Murray, State of Origin halfback, unfortunately was injured near the end of the sea. Oh, well, in the State of Origin matches. And Colin Part, another nifty little fellow who showed us his wares uh, last weekend at Lang Park. Well, here are the three nominations for our halfback position. And the first one to present to you, of course, is Ross Henrik, the Valley halfback, uh, who's uh, turned in some outstanding matches throughout this season. Next up is Mark Murray, as uh, Farmer said, was injured, but played some brilliant football prior to that, particularly in that State of Origin match. And the other nomination is the little man who put on a great match on Sunday at Lane Park for Redcliffe against Valleys, and that, of course, is their halfback in Colin Park. OK, Father, you have the winner handy right there. Who yes, is our right. halfback in the Dallium Super Team? In a very close contest, Ross Henrik has come up the winner in the halfback position. Well, once again, I think the, the, the story about uh, the top point scorers in each position is a fact of consistency, because you've got to be that right through the season. Truly, and against an opposition side, you've got to look good all the time, because those players are picking you. Right now, let's have a look at Ross Henrik in action. Back over to Lewis. He's been well and truly involved today, Mick. Yes. Henrik. So is that little man, Henrik. Been doing a lot of work that if you weren't watching, you wouldn't have seen it. 